Hello, we're here at Bonding Source and we're going to do an amateur video to show people how to do the epoxy board mount process. Uh, what we have here uh, to get started is we have a digitally controlled hot plate set at 50 degrees centigrade. We have uh, an epoxy preform. It's a CF3350 4 mil epoxy preform with release sheets on both top and bottom sides. We have a circuit board pictured here that's upside down, an aluminum gold plated housing, a Teflon slip sheet, silicon press board, we have an aluminum holding fixture, an epoxy bonding press. So that's pretty much what we need to get started. Uh, and this is Ann, this is Ann and Ann's hands that's going to do our assembly process. And the first thing that Ann gonna, is going to do is to clean uh, the circuit board and the housing floor with a little bit of alcohol to remove any residue that might be left over from circuit board, uh, board manufacturing or handling. And she do the same to the housing. It's always a good idea to use uh, finger cots or gloves so you don't get finger oils on the uh, epoxy or circuit board or housing. Then she's going to uh, remove one side of the release sheet from the preform. It peels right off and she's going to align the preform to the circuit board. Another option is you can uh, do the alignment with the housing first and put the circuit board on later, but for this particular instance we're going to tack it to the board first. We put that upside down on the hot plate at 50 degrees C and we make sure that it's tacked, tacked down and we use something like the back of the Q-tip to make sure there's no air bubbles and we have good alignment. And at this point the release sheet on this side of the epoxy is still attached so it's easy to handle. Okay, and when we know that that's on there good, we then put the, the housing on. Once you put the house, we'll put the housing on so it warms up a little bit. Okay, and now we're going to remove the release sheet from the other side that's going to come in contact with the housing. See, once she gets that started, it comes off pretty easily. This housing works pretty well because uh, it aligns well. And, and what we're putting on now is a, a Teflon slip sheet. Uh, the Teflon is used to protect the circuit board uh, and primarily the gold plating from any outgassing that would come from the press board. Uh, that way we don't have any trouble at wire bonding at a later stage. And now we'll also put on the, the press board. Press that down to make sure it's tacked in place. Then we'll remove that from the hot plate and we'll put that into the holding fixture. We make sure that it's centered. And we put on the top plate. A lot of times we won't remove the screws from the unit, but we wanted to take the top off so we could show you uh, how the housing is placed in the fixture. Ann's kind of a rookie. I usually do this two, two at one time, but going to give me grief right now if I tell her that. <laughs> and we just bring those just down to the top surface of the aluminum plate. 
So that's good to go. And the, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to validate the pressure on the bonding press. Uh, we determined that 80 psi was the best uh, for this module size. So she's going to bring the piston down onto the load cell and make sure that it reads 80 degrees. Okay, we'll do that one more time just to make sure. It's kind of like doing uh, any kind of calibration in a um, in a manufacturing facility. All right, good. We're good to go. So we'll push the load cell back out of the way. We'll place the fixture in. And make sure it's centered under the under the piston. Once that's down, now we'll uh, we'll tighten the screws, just finger tight, so they don't move. And we're going to release it, and then rotate the fixture 180 degrees. Come down one more time. Make sure everything stays tight. Then you can release it up. And now you take this fixture and you stick it in your curing oven for the recommended cure schedule and you're good to go. Bonding Source sells the epoxy presses. We sell the holding fixtures, the hot plate, uh, and the controller. We also make preforms and sell sheet stock. Give us a call with any questions. Thank you.